Hi there, welcome back. Well, we we're on the final stretch and um, what you may be able to see here is there's strange little gadget hanging from this end. We'll go into that in a second, tied to the magic eye. And um, the cabinet has been done, which I'll show you in a minute as well. Now, first of all, what is that? That's the Bluetooth receiver. And the Bluetooth receiver uh, is a module which I add to the to a power supply section to provide uh, Bluetooth reception to the radio via the phono input. But uh, very quickly, I've done this before, let me just draw it up again for you. Now that whole receiver is based around this uh, Bluetooth receiver module. It's from, this one is from IC Station. I've used various modules from different sources. They're all very, very similar. Um, and the result is actually very, very good. Now this one is very small, as you can probably tell. And the reason I like this one is that it allows you to, to power it either via the USB input here, or it actually has pins for battery. So you've got battery minus, battery plus. It also has the output on this three and a half millimeter jack socket, stereo socket for your audio, or you've got the pins over here. You've got left, right, and ground, so you can solder on them. And that's the main reason why I prefer this module. Now this module needs a few things. It needs, in our particular case, it needs a power supply. We're not going to use a battery, we're not going to use USB, so we've got to find a power supply. And the best place to get a power supply for this is from the heater supply circuit, 6.3 volts AC that we've got quite readily available. And then we need a mono signal. So. Um, we actually take the left and right, join them through 1K resistors, make a mono signal, and then we feed this to the pickup input of the tube radio. You can either do this on the outside with uh, plugs, or as I'm gonna do here, actually solder it directly on the inside to the pickup input terminals. Now, to get the uh, five volts uh, that we need, or 4.2 volts or so that we need here, um, we could simply rectify the heater supply and uh, put it through a voltage regulator for 5 volts and drop a bit more. But we do have a problem. If you do that, you've got the ground of the heater supply becoming the ground of this thing. And the experience is that you always end up with buzzing noises. So we need an isolated supply here. And the best way that I've found to achieve that is using one of these little guys. Now this is a, an Eversun brand, but I think the main one is Mornsun. It's a DC to DC converter. It's a BS0505S, one watt DC to DC converter. And it's basically got four pins. Uh, input goes there, output comes out here. Uh, I believe that's actually Input ground, input positive, output ground, output positive. I'll show the data sheet on the screen. And what you get is really a fully isolated, unregulated DC to DC converter, one to one, or as close to one to one as, as you're going to get. I've built up the rectifier section and the isolation section and filtering and regulator on this board and then added this to the end here. So you get a one board module that actually works very well on there. The idea then is with some uh, double sided tape, this will go to the side of the radio on the inside and it should be good enough for the antenna here. Because the radio is, is out of, made out of wood, you should be able to get your Bluetooth signal through that antenna over here. You can always add an extension if we need it, but I don't think we will. So what we do is basically we take our 6.3 volts AC and there's our ground, which is actually connected to the chassis. And we pass that into a bridge rectifier. Filter it. I've used a 2200 microfarad capacitor here. 25 volts. The voltage here is 6.3. That there'll be about 8 point something, so you don't need 25, but that's what I have on hand. I then want to make this 5 volts. We use a 
linear voltage regulator, IC7805, and we get 5 volts out here, DC. I use another capacitor here, smaller capacitor for filtering. That was 100 microfarads and 25 volts. And then we feed, that's our regulated voltage, we feed that to this DC to DC converter. The B0505S. And what we get out here is 0 volts and a plus, which should be about 5 volts because we've got 5 volts over there. Now, when I actually built this, I found it didn't come out at 5. It actually came out at 5.3, and it wasn't because that wasn't loaded. I believe these things may not be as uh, accurate as they state. So what I did was I put a diode on here, a 1N4007, and that came out at 4.3. So here I got 4.3 volts which is near as damn it the voltage you'll get from a 18650 battery if you want to power this or a LiPo battery and that's what um, will make this work very very well and then the result is this goes to the module now the module has our battery connectors over there and out here we've got a left we've got a right and we've got a ground now the advantage is this ground here has absolutely no reference to that one. It's not connected to that one at all. Okay? It is, however, connected to this one. So that there is connected to there, which means that when we connect this to the pickup input ground, that is the only ground point that we are going to establish between the two units, the only reference point. And therefore we don't have any ground loops, and therefore we don't have any buzzing, high frequency buzzing on the speaker. Now we need a, a mono signal rather than a stereo signal for our pickup input, so we use two 1K resistors and we connect that together and we've got this to our pickup input. And that's all that is. Now what I have on there is I've got the 6.3 coming from the heater, heater connection of the Magic Eye tube because that's on the left hand side if you're looking from the back of the chassis of the of the radio and it's uh, where I want to put the unit so it's as close as it's going to get it's very convenient I could connect it to the actual 6.3 volt output of the transformer to the dial lamps anywhere where 6.3 volts is available or any other of the any other of the heater lines of the tubes but I chose that one and then this output here what I've got is a shielded cable soldered to this board at this point and that goes straight underneath to the pickup input soldered on the inside and that's what we have done so that's complete and I'll show you how that works a little bit further along and the deed is done here is the cabinet pretty pleased with the result great result for a really shitty job to do but has to be done. This is what you see after all. The rest is inside and uh, this is a very very important part of the restoration. Now let me just show you basically what has happened. I have polished all the woodwork and it does have a few marks and, and uh, scratches but they are going to be considered signs of uh, maturity but the shine is there and it actually polished up very very nicely so that's the woodwork the grill cloth as I mentioned is was immaculate so just some cleaning was done that magic eye bracket polished up beautifully really nice really really nice came out like new. And then of course we've got this rim. All the trimming here, this brass trimming, was completely blackened and tarnished and now it's all back to 
a brilliant shine. Now, the way I did this is um, because I didn't uh, want to take it out. You can remove it. You can actually sort of unglue it. But usually what happens is that it, you get bends in there if you try that. So the way to do that was I taped the edges or taped off the section of brass that I was going to polish, um, masking tape, and then used the Dremel with uh, the scrubbing brush, polishing brush. And those brushes um, work very well. Now, you do you can buy these brushes. Um, they they sell them in packs of two, and I think I think the price I found in Madeira is about fourteen euros, and I just couldn't justify that because they wear off very very quickly. So I uh, decided to try alternatives, and I found a way of getting these brushes do it yourself. And I've actually made a video on how to get them done. They they end up costing nothing. You buy these uh, scrubbing pads. And you cut them and it works fantastically. I'll, uh, I'll link the video above. It really, really does work very well. And the result is what you see. It's good as new. Anything that's brass, you uh, tape off any edges you don't want to damage. And of course, the, the scrubbers are such that if you have masking tape in a certain area, as long as you don't stay on it, it doesn't actually scratch through. It just polishes what's visible or what's accessible. And that's the result. So here we go. We've got it in the cabinet. And as you can see, I've uh, sold it in the speaker. From there, the magic eye now goes back to where it is supposed to be. And then the Bluetooth module is there away from the foil so that um, we have wood on the other side and the antenna should receive. We'll test that in a while. And of course we've got the antenna plug plugged in there. Not that I expect to get much from that antenna because I usually use the external mini whip which um, actually works fantastically for AM. I built one of those and demonstrated it. It really does a great job. These things, well, I suppose in the old days when you had quite a few local AM stations, it probably did a good job, but not anymore. So I'll put it in the back and we'll do a reception test. And the iPad has found this new Bluetooth device, which is XY underscore BT, which is the one we're looking for. Hit that, and it gives us a tone telling us it's connected. So now, when we play our YouTube video, instead of hearing it on the iPad, you should hear it there. That seems to be in order with. Uh very few exceptions. I there we go. Some of the solder joints were a bit iffy. Leave the mic here. So I refreshed some of those. Now I've got the iPad about 10 meters away on the other side of the dining room. So I'm glad I changed that first one. That uh, coupling cap received, to the grid. Of and we received perfectly. Before I tested it. Now one thing I found quite interesting is... Um, so what we have is uh, the Bluetooth's working perfectly. You switch it on, when you hit the uh, phono button, it activates the uh, scan function on the uh, module and you pair that with your device and then whatever music you play on your device or audio you play on your device plays through the Bluetooth receiver and onto your radio. You then control the maximum volume here if you like, the tone here if you like, but you can also control the volume on your actual device like the iPad or the iPhone, which is brilliant. So that part is working. Now, I'm going to wait for a few hours. This is uh, early afternoon and uh, reception on AM at this time of the day is really shitty. I'll wait for the evening and then I'll do a sample or a test of all the, uh, the bands. And then it's a wrap. No ves a nadie, pero aquí sí, ¿no? Estáis ahí unos cuantos jóvenes con talento y que tenéis que dar ese paso para empezar. Si ocupamos ese... Son es alto, pero, pero talento tenéis de sobra. 
De temps en temps, je participais dans, dans cette conférence. optimistic uh, um, uh, 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 future which uh, we'll see if it bears out. Yes, thank you Dr. Rod Van Dyke, Professor in History of International En la
feliz. Él es Manzano en nombre de toda la tripulación. So that's it, people. Another one done. The reception test is done uh, early evening. Obviously, if you're aware of um, how these things work, the uh, strength of reception depends on the time and the band and everything else. There are times when obviously the reception is better and others that it's worse, but this is about average. Um, with the mini whip antenna that I've got, and I have used that extensively, it's uh, probably the go-to antenna that I use now rather than uh, a long wire. I'm very, very happy with the results. Time to sign off now and looking forward to the next one. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did enjoy it, please subscribe, share, like and all that stuff. And I will see you again soon. Bye for now.